Bom, Bishem, Bishem, Agat Moed, Agat Yom Tiv, the Gewaldig Kiddush Hashem, Hayiden coming all over the world to English Torah Chalamoid. That starts here with learning in the morning a few hours. Hundreds of Kinderlach, all the neighbors coming to to Yeshivas Chalamoid, and then we have the Schus to hear the Gedolei Yisrael to hear Chizuk for the Helige Yom Tiv and Sukkis. Today we have the Schus to have with us a Rav Agur Rabbi Yaakov Zev Smishli who gives here every Sunday morning a Shir. In Aloha, that goes all, all over the world. The Mechazek Klal Yisrael, tremendous Zika Rabbim, but Chalmoy is a special treat. The Balt Medam Tachim Toiv Rosh Hashanah Im Kippur Sukkot Rosh Hashanah Rabbah Ein Lanu El Rosh Hashanah Vinish Rosh Hashanah. How much Shvila do we need today in Klal Yisrael? So this is the noise everybody wants to know about. The Ayid is a Daven, a Nit Shvila. Today she is Nidva Si the Day New Mamet Kiddush Hashem Rabbi Ram Spry, like always. They be shalom benchim. There's an ebetzin a sachsim chavanachas from all the kinder and einekach and uenekach the doyer the doyers. We be simchas with the simchas by all the Eden. Now the kavan tzchia to call her Rav Agur and Rav Yaakov Zev Smith Shlita to speak about the Indian Anit Villa. Rav Smith Shlita. Someone asked me he had a problem and he was advised to daven. And he made a project out of his davening, and he didn't see any results. When should he stop davening? And he wasn't looking for an excuse. It was an idle kite. You know, as a parent, sometimes you know that you know the child asks you and asks you and asks you. You say, you know what? Stop bothering me. You're nudging me. Is there ever such a situation that we stop davening? Remind me of a different uh, question someone asked me. He said, I don't want to sound like a kaifer, but I don't understand. I daven so long already. The Bereshit knows what I need. If, I, if he wants to give it to me, he'll give it to me. Why should I keep on davening? I told him that question, the Rishayinim, the Kadmainim ask. But one thing I can tell you, Ayid never stops davening. The Gemara says in Brach Islam, in Raya Adam, what should he do? Like the Pasuk we say every day in the Ladavar Hashem Oiri, Kavi Al Hashem, Chazak V'yamitz Dibech V'Kavi Al Hashem. Ayid never stops davening. My Shreya Zuchan al told me he once had a friend that had terrible problems and he davened and it got worse. So he wrote to the Heilige Chazinish, maybe he should stop davening. So my Shreya saw the Ksav Yad of the Chazinish. The Chazinish wrote back, Chas V'Sholem. And you see in Tanakh, people daven and they kept on davening. But what's Takad Pshat? So I want to ask you a question. You know, we talk about davening. I mean, uh, that's a Yid Neshama is davening. If I were to ask you, tell me one word that's synonymous, that's Hainu Hach with davening. Tell me one word, and you see that word, that means davening. So naturally, the word comes to mind is the word tefillah. We find twice in a very critical time in Klai Yisrael's history where the Baruch wanted to destroy Klai Yisrael after the Chet of the Ego. So it says in Parashas Eikiv twice, was Spal Hashem Moshe Davin for Kla Yisrael, Davin for Aaron. In fact, the Yalkut Shemoni in the beginning of Eschanan says there are thirteen Lashonis of Tefillah, and one of them is the word Pilo Tefillah. You ever think about it? What is the word Pilo Tefillah? What does it mean? Okay, Tefillah is Davening. What does the word Pilo mean? What does Tefillah mean? So Reza Pella, I think is a Dovan Nifla Ma'oid Ma'oid. Especially you understand the background. Moshe is davening to save Kla Yisrael. And the Baruch Tan Vayicha Api Hanichali Herev, don't bother me. And Moshe davens. But the word Tefillah, what does the word Tefillah mean? So the truth is the first time in the Torah that we find the word Tefillah as davening is in Parshat Vayetze. Rachel Imenu very much wanted to have a part of being Mayim Bechif Dekar, but she was an Akar. But she had an idea. She'll give her Oma, she'll give Bila to Yaakov, and she'll have a child. And she had a child, and she called him Naftali. Vatoyme Rachel, Naftuli Alekim Niftalti, Imachoisi, Gam Yachalti, Vatikashmai Naftali. Twice that word, very similar to tefillah. And indeed, Rashi, 
quoting both the Targum Unklis and you look in Targum Yainisin, they all say the Pshad in the word Naftula Yakin Naftalti is Lashem Tfila. But listen to the way Rashi says it. Now, if you hear that word, Ikesh Upsaltel, it sends a shudder down your spine. That's the greatest condemnation of Kla Yisrael. In Parshas Azinu, the, the branch says about Kla Yisrael, you're a dar Ikesh Upsaltel. What does Ikesh mean? Stubborn, crooked. Pisalto means twisted. Vos hot Ikesh Upsaltel, it's a tongue with So Rashi continues. Kloima nis akashti vivtsarti patsirais vinaftulam harbi. I was crooked. I was an action. The word tfila is ikesh upsalta. And then Rashi quotes the the onklis, the targum lashon tfila. But you know what the pella is? The Evan Ezra on that pasuk teaches koadam shei ovekim acha. Tvila means wrangling, struggling, being an action. I once heard Bashem and Adam Godel, I think I know who it was. So the Bernstein will as we are wrangling with them. A wrangle is a Yiddish word, like wrangle. Wrangle is like a mild wrestling. So at the time, it was a plea to me. But I think I found the Makar. The Maise Ish, that's the told us of the Heilige Chazenish and Heilige Gimel Kufnun and Zayin. Chazenish would always recount, he remembered when a, when a Darshan came to Kosovo, that's where he, his father was the Rav, and he said, it's a Pella. The Barishlam wanted to destroy Stein. So destroy Stein. Why did the Barishlam tell Avram Avinu about his plan? Royin, Shakadish Baruch Hu, Royin, Shashi Yisvachaku Imai. The Barishlam viel as a Mazar Anglim with him. The Barishlam wanted to destroy Stein. But he gave Avram a Pesach. And that's the midan iflo of tefillah. And isn't it unbelievable? The word tefillah is the word wrangling, wrangling. But there's another word, and that's p'tzira. P'tzira means persisting, stubborn, again and again and again. That's also in the same medrash, both in medrash Rabbah and the, in, in the, the, the medrash Tanchuma. One of the shyness of tefillah is pegiyah. What does the word pigia mean? So we find that in Rus. Rus told Nami, Al tiv gubila ozveich. Zok Rashi, Al tiftsiri. So, so far we have two types of the word tefillah. Wrestling, wrangling, and being stubborn, persisting. But we didn't finish. We find that Parshas told us, Yitzchak and, and, and his wife, Rivka, unable to have children. Vayete Yitzchak l'Hashem anoichach ishtoi ki akarhi Pirish Rashi Hirbam v'hivtze b'tfila Yitzchak Hatzloch in having shif deko Bikla Yisrael was his p'tzira his persisting but we didn't finish we find the parsh v'yera v'yigash avram v'yoyim ha'af tis b'tzadik in Russia the parsh are you going to destroy Sadaim? What does the word Vayigash mean? Zok Rashi, Matzin, which is based on a Chazal, a Medrash, Hagosha Lemelchama. Pull a plane. You learn the Rashi, maybe you don't understand the message. Avram goes and having a Melchama with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Rangel Zich with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And you see how he, he took this literally. Twice, Al Yicha, Al No Yicha, La Doini, Vadabera, please don't get angry. So you have three words for tefillah. Wrangling, persisting, and the chama. But I think the avu and the kula is by Moshe Rabbeinu. The Pasik says, Va'ato hanichali. The Barsham told Moshe when he was trying to for Klai, so leave me alone. Freg di Gemara and Brachas Lamed Veiz. What did that mean? So the Gemara says, Il molek mikra kosvi efshala oimroi. Milamit shatovsi akadish moish lakadish baruchu, kaadam shu toifis es chaverai bevigdoi. Va omo lefan of a banish them ain ani manichacha, ad shatimcha over tislach lahem. This is not just persistent, it's not just wrangling, it's not just milchama. Moish kabiyachal, grab akadish baruchu, 
Ka'adam ha-taifas as chaveirai. It goes from schwer to impossible to understand. Ka'adam chaveirai. You grab a Kaddish Baruch Hu. The only thing I can understand in this Gemara is il mole mikra kasev yef shel haimrai. But maybe Moshe learned the secret of tefillah from Avram Avinu, from Yitzchak, from Rachel, maybe from Leah. Leah, we all know, was destined to have husband Asa of Arasha, the older one to the older one. And then you learn the Parshat Yetze, Mitamol, Ruvain, Shim, and Levi, Yehudi, Yisach, Zvul, are her children. How did she change? You know, the morale says to change Mazel is harder than changing Teva. Her Mazel was to marry Yasef. How did she have six of the shift they call? But we know the ends. It's a Gemara in Bava Basra. Ve'enei Leia Rakois. Leia cried her eyes out. I don't want to marry Yasef. Leia went to Muhammad by Riyaylam. And maybe Moshe took all that inspiration and he grabbed the Kaddish Baruch Hu. But that's the Koyach of Tefillah. But you know what it says after all that? Rashi says the Lashin. Leia, I'm sorry, Rachel was Zoycha, that the Rebbe accepted a Tfilis Hachavi voice. Because at the end of the day, that's what the Rebbe wants. He sends us a problem, he sends us a Tzara, and he wants us to wrangle him with him. He wants us to go Muhammad to Kenegi Kaddish Baruch Kavi Yochel. But you know the bigger pill is? We find in the same story with Moshe Rabbeinu, and this is in Beschan, and there are two pl places we find the dialogue between HaKadosh Baruch and Moshe. The Baruch says, Herav mimenu v'ashmideim ve'emche eshmo mitachas ha'shemayim It's mamish, it's, it's so hard to say those words. The Baruch was finished with us. He's going to destroy us and destroy our memory. Could, be, could it be a darker moment than that? Could it be a hopeless moment more than that? But that's not shot in the Pasuk. The Gemara Zog Nishta Zoy. Zog Mar Brachis, Tavlam Midbeis. The Rabbanisham told Moshe, Leich Rei Migdulascha. You lost your eyes, Kaplish Macha. I gave you a Gedulah because of Kla Yisrael. And look what happened to Kla Yisrael. So not only the Rabbanisham wants to destroy Kla Yisrael, the Rabbanisham invalidated Moshe Rabbeinu. Kivan Sheoma, Herif, Imen of Ashmide. So Moshe read it differently. It's not the Bible says, leave me alone. The Bible is saying, grab me. Because if you don't leave me alone, I can't destroy Klal Yisrael. But if you grab me, Zakti Gemara, Amar Moshe Dov is a Tali B. Miyad Amar ben Ischazik Betfila. We read it, hear of me many. And Moshe read it, the Bible says, Vil Am Zorangalim with them. But this is based on a Medrash. And if you look up the Medrash, it's even a bigger pillar. Zok the Medjim Veschanon, a Melech Basvedom was beating his son, Makar Gedoyla. And he said loudly, if not for my friend sitting here, I would kill my son. So all of a sudden, this friend of the son realized that the king said that for a reason. Because if the king is beating his son, it's not my place to tell him what to do. I can't thwart the king's plan. But if he said it loud, if not for him, I would kill him. That means it's up to me. So the friend got up and said, please forgive your son. Instead of hearing, hear of me, many, Moshe heard, I need tefillah, Davin. But it's only part of the story. Because again, in the words, Hanichali, which is in Parashat Kisisa, Rashi quotes a medrash. What does it mean, Hanichali? We don't see Moshe was davening that the Baruch Hashem leave me alone. Elakan Pasach Loi Pesach. The Baruch Hashem is inviting, urging, being misava for Tefillah Moshe. And the Medjish and Shmois, the end of Perak Membez, gives an even bigger marshal. A king was very unhappy with his son. And he took him into a private room and he started beating him. Sent everybody out to him, I started beating up his son. And there was a pedagogue. Pedagogue is like a mentor, the son's mentor. There couldn't be civil. This king's gonna kill his own son. But what could, who, how could I say what to do? All of a sudden, he hears the king saying loudly, 
don't, if it, it, I'm, I'm hitting my son. So he says, leave me alone, let me hit him more. And he says, he's, he's beating his son inside. Who's he talking to? I mean, leave me alone. Who's he talking to? No one's inside. So he's talking to me. He sent me out, but he's talking to me. So that's why he's screaming loudly as I could hear. So the Medjish learning up the Pesukim, the Barsha of the go out, lay chreid. So why did he say hanichali? Because it's up to you. It's up to your tefillah. We hear hear of me many, but Moshe heard that Kaddish Baruch Hu misavel tefillah and tzadikim. We hear anichali, and Moshe heard kum kral alikecha. But to me, the biggest chizuk of this is in the patch, there's a glut. In the hopelessness, there's a hope. In the no, there's a yes. Hanichali, herif me many. The Barsham saying, Davin, it's up to you. And the Barsham made a whole spiel with, with Moshe Rabbeinu, with the marshal of Moshe Rabbeinu, that a yid is never helpless, a yid is never hopeless. You know, someone once asked me, do I have to always remind the Rabbani Shlalem what I need? I have to ask him for this. Every day I have to remind him? I said, no. You have to remind yourself what you need. You, know, you talk about tefillah, the matana yukara of tefillah. I must mention, I must be moist in my door. There's so much to the gift of tefillah. The schus, the femiyata oimid, the chizik in amuna. The, the, the bonding with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Iskarvos, Kama Mailas Toi Vais La Tefillah. But I'm going to focus on one part of Tefillah as a start. And that is what Tefillah is, Ani Tefillah. Dabra Melech says that until him, and Rashi Taich on the words of Ani Tefillah, Ani Mispala Lecha Tamid. Or the Radak, Evan Ezra, Mitsudis, all Taich, Ani Ish Tefillah. And you know what that means? A person, every human being by nature, is the biggest nitzrich. We need health, we need, gez we need gezunt, we need panosa, we need shaduchim, we need happiness, and the list goes on and on. A person is one big nitzrich, and he thinks he has everything, and a moment, a heart attack, a stroke, Rahman al-Lutzlan, Zogtigmar and Nida Dafayin, about the three most important things in our lives, Toyra, Chachma, Panosa, and Bonim, the secret is Tefillah. Frank of course you have to daven. No, no. Look at my Kamashvalan, Habaloi, Haloi Sagi. Regarding Toyra, regarding children, regarding Panosa, with all the Ishtadis, without Tefillah, it won't go. It won't go the way it should be. You know, it's interesting. Panosa, we have to make a status. We're not like a Shimba Yechoi, the Maris is in Brachis, we go like Mishmael, we have to go to Echo. And punk there, where the Ikka is Hashtadlus, the Gemara Nida says the Ikka is Tfila. Good health is a Pasik. Bechai Bohem, Berapa Yerape. And yet, when a person makes Hashtadlus, me dinna Gemara, it's a Mechab and Shochan Arach. He has to make a tefillah. He wrote some of the He says exactly the full shalema. You have a chinamata. Not only a medicine and any medical procedure. There's a message there. You're making his tablets because you're mechuyev to. And as I dav zayin, but a yid knows the biggest, most important his tablets is the tefillah. Imagine a person takes a he has a headache, takes a Tylenol. Okay, so that's a, a guy does the same. But it's a bunch of them, I want to learn your Hele I have a headache, I can't concentrate. That's living, I need tefillah. That's living that the, that the medicine is, is a gzeris akosov. But the Bunch of wants me to daven. The Bunch of gave me a headache, but Hanichli doesn't mean leave me alone. Hanichli means I want you to wrangle with me. 
I want that tefillah. It's another pella. There are two things in, we find in the Chazal that are so difficult, it's like Kriyas Yamsuf. Marm Psachim Kuf Yitches says, Panos is like Kriyas Yamsuf. You know, the famous Gemara in Saita, Beis, Amad Beis, many people know this from daily experience. Shaduchim is like Kriyas Yamsuf. And point by those two, we find the Ikkist Fila. Panasa, we just learned the Gemara in Nida. Hobla Halay Sagi. Shaduchim, the Gemara says in Brachis, Davches. Al Zois is Paul, Kol Chosel, Le Ace Matsoi. Zuisha. Rabbacham asking, what age do you start davening for Shidduch? We did not Gemara, there's no age. Al Zois is Paul, Kol Chosel, Le Ace Matsoi. When a person's thinking of a Shidduch, he has to start davening. Not just the girls because, because of the, the, the Shidduch crisis. The Heftza of a Shidduch is Tfila. The Heftza of the Panos is Tfila. There are three things that are totally a mazel. And those are the three things we find in the Gemara Nita. Panosa, that's the Mavteach of Panosa, Biyad Hashem. Children, the Baruch Hashem didn't give over the, 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 the Mavteach of Leid, the enemy, but the Baruch Baruch Hu. Toira, Zokta Marsha, and that Gemara, Chochma. When, a, when a, a child is born, they say, Tipa Zu, is he going to be a Chochma or not? So what are you davening? Chochma. This is my Baba Shert. Zokta Marsha, that's the Chiddush. Even things that are totally in Mazel, that are unchangeable. But there's nothing beyond Tvila. Tvila is bigger than Mazel. Tvila is bigger than Kriyas Yamsuf. But there's more to this. There's more to the Ani Tvila approach. Because the Gemara says, Panasa, Chochmas HaToyra, children, Nachas from children is totally in Tvila. But there's also the flip side. If we don't have it, if we don't put an avoid to the tefillah, we don't put a lave to the tefillah, we won't get what we're supposed to get. I always wondered, Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was asked to be the Moshe in Shal Yisrael, he refused because he had a kvat pen, he had a, a speech defect. But the Moshe sent him and he went. And we don't find that the Moshe healed him from that problem. So the Ramban in Shmois, Perik Dalit, Posig Yud, Kalachiyad. Vakadish Borhu, Kivan Shaloi his spalel, Bakach, Loi Rotzler Apoise. Moshe never davened. Maybe it didn't occur to daven. And that's part of Anit's filler. You know, in the, in the Naira Shavelt that we live in, there's a statement you are what you eat. I get as much more than what he eats. But I would say Al Pitoira, we are what we daven. Even Kriyas Yamsev Dik, even Mazel Dik, we are what we daven. But Nebuch also true, we won't be if we don't daven. You learn the same parsha in Bayetse. Leah had a fourth child, she was so happy. So the Bell says to Pesha, why all of a sudden she stopped having children? Because she stopped davening. She thought, Ad Khan. But I'll tell you a bigger pillar. We're soon going to lay in Parsha Bereshis. When you learn Chumash, you're going to get the first and most powerful shmuz on tefillah. The Gemara in Chul, Nav Samech Ahmed Beis, Rashi quotes it. It's a stira. In the third day, Vatoitzer Eretz Desha, the Bereshim created vegetation, grass. But in the sixth day first, we find it starts to grow. Zok Rashi, but it's famous the Gemara in Chul, Nav Samech Ahmed Beis. My time allow him to why didn't the Baruch Hashem let the grass grow from day three till day six? So we learned the pasuk. Oh, if Adam wasn't created yet, who's going to work on the ground? Who's going to make the shtadlus? Without the shtadlus, it can't grow. So Rashi, Kishiyavai Adam, the Yedish Hem Tzorich La Adam, the Hispal La Leim. Even in the Rabbani Shalom's Bria, that's perfect. From day three, it couldn't grow till day six because there was no tefillah. Because in the Rabbani Shalom's world, the real Hishtadus is davening. But there's a bigger pillar here. How do you touch the word when you learn with your son, Paris Beratius, this coming Shabbos? 
Actually, Adam wasn't around to work on the land. That's not true. The Gemara in Chul of Samach, Rashi quotes it. Adam ayin labed as Adam means Adam was not mispalel. Because I need tefillah. Not just for Leia Imenu. Not just for Moshe Abenu. But in the Baruch Shlomo's Bria, there's a perfection. Without tefillah, ha balei ha loisagi. Since the Bria, we are what we daven, and we won't if we don't daven. Morris is in Bavakama, the famous Morris, Ma'avaze Odom. And everybody throws that around. Ma'avaze Odom. Just because once the Pasik used the word Ma'ave, Tiboyim Boyu, regarding Odom, so Ma'avaze Odom, he would have shot his Pashit. Ma'avaze Odom is another way of expressing it. I need tefillah. Ma'avaze Odom, we are what we daven. And if you ask me why, why did Rosh make a world that everything is totally in tefillah? Obviously, I'm not qualified to answer, but I'll tell you a chinuch. The chinuch and mitzvah tough lamed gimel asked the question that those two people asked me: Why did the Bereshit make a world that we have to daven? Doesn't the Bereshit know our needs? Zok the chinuch a yisoy that he writes in many places. In this world, a person has to deserve and earn what he needs. There's no free rides, and that's going on everything in life. And Zok the Chinuch, Vadoin Hakol Shibaroam, the Bresh made all of our needs. He has a, a major storage house, a warehouse of all our needs. Chafetz Betayvasam, Bedricham Betslicham, Bemitzvois, Vayakarish, a Yizgebehem. But you have to earn it, you have to deserve it. And he gave us the key, the access code. Vaidiam Gamgain, Upasach and Pesach, Bashesikam, Mashalaisim, Latoiv, Vahushi Avakshim, and Akadish Baruch. This is Teva Ha'olam. I can almost say this is the Gashmius of the world. A person is a Nitzrach on everything he wants. The Bereshim has all his needs. And the access code is Tefillah. I just we saw Maisa, talking to save, save a Maisa ish. I think it's a mitzvah lefarsim. The Chazinish had a, his youngest sister. Chazinish was the second oldest, and he had his youngest sister. Her name was Pesha Miriam. When she was two years old, she got very sick. The doctors gave up hope, and she and she got she was in a coma, not responding. And this is what it says in the sefer, a very reliable sefer. And the chaver kedisha came and thought she already died, and put her on the ground, and put candles around her, and was saying, "Kill them." Now it doesn't say Beferish, but it seems to me the Chazanish did not know that she was Nifteris, whatever that word, if, if that's the right word. And he kept on davening. And after a while she had, she woke up. And after a few days she was back to normal. And the Chazanish said about her, this is not the Pesha Miriam that before she was sick. And he knew it was his tefillah. Now again, I couldn't clarify if he, he heard that she died, because then davening would be a, a tefillah shav. I don't know how old the Chazanish was at the time. I couldn't clarify this. He was the second oldest, she was the youngest, but he was obviously not married. But you know what I know? The Baruch Shem Vil Amzoranglim with him. And maybe this was his first introduction in the Koyach tefillah. He saw a girl that officially was dead or close to death, and he heard, the, he most heard, Herif me many, most heard, Anichali, leave her alone. And he heard the Baruch saying, it's up to you. I guess that's why he was able to say, when someone asked me, should I stop davening? He answers, chas v'sholem. And that's what he was able to write in his letter, one of his letters, those classic words, tfilhi matta oiz biyad kol adam. He was a young buck at the time. But look what tfilah is. And maybe that's why he appreciated that, that mimer of the darshan of Kusava, the Bershom build us. But I think there's more to it. And I, like, I want to ask you a question, I'm thinking out loud. What would have been if the Chazanish would have been realistic? I said, listen, no, 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 what happens? Girls, are, children pass away. It was uh, very common in those days. And he would stop davening. What should we do? Atkan? The Baruch Shalom is sending us a message. 
I think it's Pashat. The world wouldn't have this Pesha Miriam. You know what Pesha Miriam was? We probably remember because we dive into Rabbi Chaim when he was sick. Chaim, Ben, Pesha Miriam. The Aishas Chava of the Stipula is Pesha Miriam. The Ima Shel Malchus of Rabbi Chaim. She probably has now hundreds of Eneklach and Ur Eneklach. Some of them are Gedoyer Tari already. But without the Chazanishas Tfila, there wouldn't be a Pesha Miriam. Because we are what we daven, and there won't be if we don't daven. And we would never know what we're missing. You know, I always say the best chizik we could have in tefillah is if somehow how we could, we could uh, make this work. I don't know how to make it work. But if somehow we could see a picture of ourselves, that's you, yeah, yeah nice panasa, nice health, good one. Then another picture. This is what you could be if you daven better. This is what your panos would look like if you would pay more attention to Baruch Aleinu. This is what your learning would look like if you would cry more often Varevna Hashem Aleikeinu as Divrei Siroscha. In my mind's eye, I can almost picture this one picture of Rami Shai Karelitz, what he was supposed to be. And then there's a picture of the Chazenish, the Heluk Chazenish, that the early Israel said that he was Zoycha to the Amkus of like a Rishon. And this is what he became. He was a regular person. And he became almost a, an Adam Bedmus Malach in his Kedush, in his Tahara, in his Oim Amkus from Torah. Because in his, quote his own words, trust me, he said, I harva more on the Atachoinen, more than I harva on the Toysvis. And he writes in so many different letters the concept of Tefillah and Torah. Kishurim Zelozeh. Maybe the Chazanish was able to picture what he was and what he was becoming because he put his leva nefesh into the Avoida Satvila. And even though it was difficult, he had an extremely, extremely difficult life. Never had children. His wife wasn't well. He was a Chayil Masuk in Kol Yomov. He was able to see what the Koyach of Tvila was. We all want to steig in learning. Remember the words of the Rebbe Rabbi Yonis in Yaris Devash. I'm noving the Chochem. Don't say that this, that point about himself, that I am so big, is because of my Kishrin. Sheker! It's because of my Tefillah. Because there's nothing that's Mezaka to a person, Hatzlochi in Torah, then it's Tefillah. That's another part of our need Tefillah that we have to remember. That's really the Gemara in need of Ayin. Of course you're learning. But maybe with another Atachoinen, with an Ahav Arab, with an Ahav As Oilam. Now, Biruch Mulevavitz in the Parashat Mishpatim, page Reish Lam and Aleph, he writes about one of the Ployim Hayoy Sigdom that he can't understand. And this is what he says A person knows, we all know, that the Atachoinen in the morning is going to give us Hatzlacha and our Torah. So, how could a person not? Use that atachayna properly. He says it, it doesn't make sense to me. He's a play me I'm not a Balkishan, but I tell the answer, because we never learned the truth of that. That our first seda is totally in the atachayna and shachris, and our second seda is the atachayna and mincha, and our third seda, our night seda is the atachayna and ma'ariv. It's pashik absutai, because I need tefillah. It's going on Torah. That's the gemara that needed davayin. Maybe there's a little more lemaisa here. You know, I always, I found that Lashen very hard to, to, to even say over. HaKadosh Baruch Hu misave Lashen Shel Tzadikim. It's more in Yevamis. And all the Paiskim say, all the Mepharshim say, it's lav dav HaKadikim. If you know the context, but a Tzadik knows how to dav when there's a Tzara. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu is misave for our Tzvila. We don't like make the Baruch Hu Magashmi. She has no goof. But the word taiva is a very gashmiz dika word. Sepp is the used that word taiva. So imagine you have a mighty king. Amish is a maishal, the keeper. He rules the world. He has one son. The Nebuch is not well, emotionally disturbed. His only son is literally dying, starving from anorexia. Nebuch is a machah that people stop eating. Imagine the king, imagine how he feels. He has one son. He has enough money to feed the entire world and his only son is dying from starvation. What would you say? 
the king would prefer his son eat, would be happy, he would, he would think it's a good idea. Even the word the king is plotting and chalishing is not a good word. His son is dying from starvation and he has oil and maloya of money. Who like Avinu of Arachma knows the koyach of tefillah? Who like Avinu of Arachma knows I need tefillah? Who like Avinu of Arachma knows that she knows that she knows him and health is tolly in tefillah? And the Baruch Shalom sometimes sees his children are starving. They're suffering from Harbalai Halai Sagi. They're suffering with a guarantee that it's not going to happen if we don't dive in. Sometimes you get busy with other Hishtadlus. And the Baruch Shalom is crying, I'm a saga for your Tfilah. You don't say, I gave you this problem because I wanted to hear your Tfilah. Not to run to a side door. Not to run to certain schoolists, which really are, maybe are good, but I want tefillah. That's a Kodesh Baruch Hu Mis'av, which is plotting and chalishing that we should understand that Heref Mimenu means Davin. Hanichali means Davin. Avada, as the Medjish in Shmuel, Perik Dalit says, it's not a, it's not a, Quick fix, you know, like with American mentality, you know, you ring and he brings. The marriage just goes in detail. If someone takes 100 years for a trilogy miscabal, 90 years, 80, 70, and a whole long medrash bringing rayas, bringing the chorus. But every trill is heard. And sometimes we need an accumulation. Milan and Godlam, Moshe Rabbeinu. Godlam, you're Abed Shemai. But it was only the minion Veschan and that that was able to do it. I always find it very, very practical. The Medjish Taka the Yalkut and Tilim Kuflam Bazai and Shom Yashav Nugam Bachinu Ona Yermia Vaoma Mead Ani Olai Shamayim Vaoretz. It's Russian of a Shvua. Ilu Bachisim Oid Bachia Achas Al Shatem Batsiyon. If there had been another Tvil, another tear, Loi Gelisam. There was X amount of tefillahs and X amount of tears, but there was one that was missing. Imagine the, imagine the, the, the tragedy of one, one last tefillah. And the person asks, do we stop davening? That's what the branch of them wants. He, he sees the heref man, he sees the hinichali, but doesn't hear the branch saying, I want another tefillah. I'm going to lay in soon talk in, in, in Vazayis Habracha. Baruch Hashem Chelai Ufoyal Yod of Tirza. So the Rashi. So the Rashi. Moshe Benu foresaw that the Chashmonai are going to have to fight the, the big, mighty Yavani army, and he davened for them. So make a cheshbon. How many years was Moshe Benu before the story of Hanukkah? It's close to a thousand years. You know, in America, there's something called a blood bank. That you take blood and you donate it and you need it. a person needs it, he takes it out. In the Baruch Shem's world is a tefillah bank. And the tefillah is kept vibrant for close to a thousand years. I'm reminded of something that Matzio was trying to said, he heard from Bank of Galinsky. After the Second World War, so Bank of Galinsky started like a yeshiva, a koil. And one morning, three irreligious Boys from Shomat Sa'ir, that was a very anti-religious kibbutz, came in, typically dressed, short pants, ponytail, no yarmulke, no tzitzis. We want to learn Torah. So he was very suspicious. You know, maybe they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna join and going to infiltrate. They're going to they're gonna accuse him of kidnapping. So he ran to the chazanish. He said, what should I do? They, they come in the way they look at where they're coming from. Do I learn with them? Chazanish said, take them in. I'll tell you what's happening. So chazanish said, these boys' grandfathers were Yireim B'Shleimim. And then came the communism and the Zionism and all the different isms and captured them. Nebuch, they went after Derech. These boys' great-grandfathers saw this, losing their children, and cried a torrent of tears, a storm of tears. Chazanish said, I saw this, he said. But I mentioned the Baal and he went after Derech. The next door was the same. This door is a real Tinoi Kishanishbu. And the Baruch Hashem took those tears of the Elta Zayda that he had put away for these boys. And he said, those tears came to revive these boys. And then he said something only Chazanish should say. 
This is just a few. Wait, wait, you're going to see thousands of, re, of, of, re, of Bali Tshuva returning. Because the El Tezaydis tears that were never lost. Don't play him. At that time, there was no Bali Tshuva. Only a person that had those oigen, that hearts to see that a tear is never lost. But I want to say another point, maybe just as important. Someone once came to me and he complained, I could say maybe bitterly. He had a problem and someone promised him, you daven, you'll see a Yeshua. And he doesn't see a Yeshua. <coughs> no one has a right to promise anything. Chazanish writes in Gabi Amun and Betochen that with all the Amun and Betochen, only a Navi knows what will be. In other words, Amun and Betochen is an attitude, is a mitzvah, is a Yeshua. But what will be, if I quote the Pasuk in the Navi, Hashem Hatoi Be'ein of And there's no doubt about it, the same is true regarding Tefillah. We daven, and we never stop davening, and we believe in the Koyach HaTefillah, and Tefillah is the biggest Ishtadlus, and everything else that we mentioned. But the Ikka is, no one can guarantee anything. I heard from Adam Godel, he says people promise things, and he's left with the disappointed, disillusioned, and sometimes disappointed people. I mean, Chazanish, this tefillah, who could understand this tefillah? But he never had children. He was always sick. His wife was not well. The only guarantee we have is what the Mori says in Brochus, Taflamet Beis, again in Nunhei, Hamayach betfilosoi umayim bo, soi bo yekoyev leif. And Rashi says, Ma'ayimba means, he says, I davened, I'm going to definitely see a Yeshua. All he's left with is a stomachache. But in Toysvish, Gemara and Shabbos, Kuf Chav Zayin, it's a big sugya. But I can tell you one thing. There is one guarantee that I could give. I will never forget this, hopefully as long as I live. There was once the Pam came to one of his shmuzim, and he looked like he was shika. I mean, he was not, not himself, he was like bubbling with excitement. And he started saying, we saw today, this week a Kiddush Hashem, it's unbelievable. This was Tafshin Nun Dalet, 1994, Lemisparam. And if you remember, there was a, a from a soldier that was abducted by, by terrorists, Yimach Shimon. And that first Shabbos, when he was still being held captive, the entire Eretz Yisrael got involved. There was never Achtus in the Medina, probably like that, those, those days. People that never lit, lit in their lives, lit list to cover Shabbos, they were kinusim by the koisel, from and fry, stood together, davening for Nachshon Waxman, he should, be, he should be released. But the Bernstein, Hashem Ateva Enev and he was killed. So obviously in a very cruel moment, one of the reporters ran to the base of Elus, went over to the father and says, there were so many tefillahs, the Bernstein, what did Barashim do to all the tefillahs? Doesn't he answer our tefillah? So without thinking, the father says, our tefillahs was answered. Our tefillahs were answered. The answer is no. Because the father has a right to say no. And the then was crying and he said, look at the rain of hey, look at Yiddish Amuna. In the depth of the tsar, when hundreds and thousands of tefillahs and schusim didn't bring any results, but a yid understood every tefillah is answered. Sometimes the answer is no. That's the haftacha we have. Ki ato shemeya tefillas kol peh. Sometimes it's yes right away. Sometimes in a hundred years, a thousand years of eschanan amount. And sometimes the answer is no. But every tefillah is heard and every tear is cherished. Obviously, a lot of tefillah has to do with kavana. Chazal didn't mince words. They said, tefillah b'lai kavana, k'guf b'lai nesham. It's like Misa. But I want to tell you, I saw recently a beautiful Misa with the stipler. Someone came to the stipler, and he had a name of a choyla that was very sick. They wanted the stipler to have for the choyla. The stipler says, did you forget the Rashi in Parashas Vayera? So the fellow said, yeah, I guess so. Please remind me. Let me tell you, it's Rashi. Yishmol 
at a young child, was terribly rebellious, he did, he did Kimmel Hamures, and Avram banished him from his home. So Yisrael went with Hagar in the Midbar, and he was dying. Pastor Beferish. She said, I want to stay away from my son Yishmael. Al Arab Moisayalat. He was just a matter of time. But the mice we find, Hagar was a tzaddikis. No Maseh Kikatoris, Rashi says. She spoke to Malachim on, a, on an almost regular basis. She davened, and Yishmael davened. And the rest is history. Yishmael recovered and became Yishmael. Who's Tvila carry today? The tzaddikis. Hagar or the Rashi Yishmael that did the Gimel Hamurs at the youngest age? So it's a very Shepasik. By Yishmael it came as Karl Anar. It was, it was Yishmael's Tvila. Pillar play him. Yishmael's Tvila, not Hagar. So at Rashi, Mikan she Yafa Tvila Sachoyla, Mi Tvila Sachayr Malav. Vikoidemes Liskabel. Because Yishmael knew his life depended on it. Hagar's thriller was, was enormous. But Yishmael was, was the person involved. Marshal Mohadav Adoyma, when there's a big kinner, someone is very sick, he's having an operation soon, and the whole yeshiva, the whole shul is saying, till him. Some people say, till him, they don't know the person, but they say, till him, Yalachid. The Chayla's brother, oh, his davening is a much better till him. But if there's a live hookup to the hospital, and before he's going to surgery, he's able to say till him with the Yailam. Could you imagine his till him? Because he's coming to a level of avoid the Shebelev. His lave, his life, his future is totally in the tefillah. He's coming to the realization, I need tefillah. If I don't dive him, I actually must say. And that was the godless of Yishmael's tefillah, even over his mother, Hagar. And the stipler was talking to us. We have problems, we have needs, and we try Yishtadlus. And maybe even one of the Yishtadlus is in Shulchan Aruch. In Shin Lamed Hay, the, the Ramah says, when a person has a choyl in the house, he should go to a tzaddik for a bracha. That's Allah in Shulchan Aruch. But Yafa Tfilas choyl. And choyl is lav dafka choyl. It's the one that needs a shidduch, it's the one that needs a panasa, the one that wants to have more nachas on his children. The eight is, Wrangle him with the Kaddish Baruch. That's what the Baruch Hashem wants. And we start finding other avenues and other, other ways of accessing our needs. The Baruch Hashem is crying, I'm a savil your tefillah, and not to find other avenues. My palm once told me, the problem we have with davening is not that we don't believe in the koyach tefillah. We don't believe in the koyach of our tefillah. Little old me, what could I do? But Rashi, the Medjish, is teaching us when a person has a need, he is the most powerful one that can make a tefillah. We have to remind you of the famous Gemara, I think every child knows, it's a Mishnah, that the, the mothers of the Kahanim Gedalim would bring food to the Reitzchim in, in the Ari Miklat. They shouldn't have that their son should die. Now this man, even though he's a he's a Reitzayach, Mitzayim Yeti Rasha. He's going to die for a cut. And um, um, should the God should die? The answer is right now it's him. I need tefillah. Or oh, the famous Vart, the Oivrei Derech are going to die in that they shouldn't rain because they don't want to get wet. And what's with Klai Yisrael? And you need a Kayim God if not you them to die in, to override the, the tefillah of an Oivrei Derech that's selfish? But maybe that's the point. Selfish means he's davening for his life. He feels it's totally only in tefillah. That's the, that's the way to access Kavona. When a person is able to see, like the Kuzvi writes, that the Reish is Koychoi, Reish is of every single day has to be davening. And the rest of the day has to be a lead up, a build up to a davening. And he gives an incredible marshal. Just like we know, a person has to eat breakfast in the morning. The breakfast is given Koyach to go in the morning. The lunch in the afternoon, the supper at night. So it's not just he's eating supper, who's eating lunch. He has lunch, he has kaya for that part of the day. The shachris is our hatzloch in the day. For those that are learning, the shachris is my learning. For those that are working, it's the baruch aleinu, that's my day. You have many decisions, you have many meetings to make, 
But the most important meaning is the Baruch Aleinu. And the Mincha is the afternoon. And the, the Maiv is the night. But once a person looks and says, I need to feel, that's me. My Atzlacha, my daughter Shidduch, my Panasa, my happiness is my tefillah. Then he's, he's living, I need tefillah. But he has to believe in the Kayach of tefillah. And this fort that the disciples said is really a medrash is when a person has a need, he has the Kayach of tefillah more than anybody else. Do you ever notice, you stand by the window in the morning, people are coming to shul, some people are I'm just almost running to shul. Other people, are walk, they're so lethargic, they're walking so slowly, they're almost going backwards. And you wonder, they're both coming to shul. Manishtana. I'll tell you, it's posh. It. The first person believes in his kayach atfila. And he said, this is murdik. The Baruch is inviting me, Harche Picha Vamalei, like Rashi says, ask me, Pichol Shatisha Vamalei. So this is, the, this is the greatest opportunity of my day. This is my morning. He runs to Davening. The other person is an Erlach Yid. He's also coming on time. But he doesn't believe in his tefillah. He thinks he doesn't make a difference, and he's right. But he doesn't realize that he makes all the difference. And his tefillah is bigger than the Tzadik Hadar because it's his needs. The Kuzri is lost. Nasei da hazemi anefesh kisei da mazen leguf. Every part of the day is another part. Is another tefillah. I tell you, have wonderful books, short stories. Each one is another chizik from a different angle. There are probably are now hundreds of stories of people that saw the Yeshua by davening. You know what the message is? In a moment of clarity, in a clarkite, they saw Anit Fila. And they joined Yishmael and the Ritzayach and the Aramiklot and the Ivory Derech, whose Tfila needed a Kayan God of Nayel of them to overpower. And this we have to hear. The Gemara says in Brachas Lamed Beis, Arbor Tzrichim Chizuk. Four things need Chizuk. And that itself means. Mor is Machayev, or Ravina, and Ravashi, and all the Amarayim, and Rabkiveg, and all the way down for Chizik. But Rashi says, no, that's not the Taich. She is Chazik Bem Tomid Bechol Koychoy. Not just uh, come Yom and Arayim, we'll get a, 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 a refresher course in Davening. Tomid Bechol Koychoy. So every Yid from Dina Gemara, Tomid Bechol Koychoy. Vaisrach's Tzvila is so, so big. And so, so important, it's not enough occasionally to have a chizuk. And obviously, I can't tell you in just a few minutes we have to give you a chizuk for every single day. But I want to tell you, maybe this is the amiyat hamachzik as but the amor ma'at vasei harbe. If you start with this, shayna gaholfana. When you learn hilchas tvila, you'll notice a theme that the bulk of hilchas tvila is based on a pasuk in Amos. He coined the cross el lekecha Yisrael. I made a list, but it's not a full list, but I'll just read what I found. A person has to run to the Beis Medrash. Even on Shabbos, you're supposed to run to Beis Medrash. Both say the words, Ani b'rayv chazdecha, wash your hands, a guf naki, a whole big sugya, is he coined. The dress code, the hat and the jacket, nice clothing, a gartel or something to be mafsik, to be masada to fill as up the tour because you're talking to a melech. The achon of suka de zimra to shmain esra. First you have to be meshabeach and then you could ask. The position of the hands, the feet together. Every bow we bow to a bari oilam that's right in front of me. Every atah. What does atah mean? Baruch atah. You talk to a rav, you say the rav. And here, nineteen brachas. Baruch atah. Because the Baruch Hashem wants you to feel you're talking to someone. The Mesil Sharem, Perik Yutes, he writes, Mishu bal seichel nochayim b'ma'at his boininess. A little bit seichel, a little bit thinking. V'sim ha-slave, 
יאכל כבויה בליבה היכו בו ונויסה ונויסה ממש אימא יסבורך ולפניו הוא מסכנן ומאיתו מבקש כאשר ידע באיש אל רעיהו ורעיהו שממקשיב ושמע אליו I wouldn't say such words, but the Mr. Sharm saw in every talk, Ash Yada be Ishel Reyeyu. And the Brahmin says, you know, forget about the formalities. He's talking about third person, I don't want that. I want you to feel I'm talk you're talking to me. Chavetz Chaim once said, the title in Baruch Vesech Nisht. Brecha, Baruch. Ata, I know what it means. It means you. There's a Bari Oilam. Likras Eloi Kecha. It's me and Bari Oilam. Allah Shin Yochid. Lifnei mi ata oimeid. Hashem svosai tiftoch ufi yagid. It's me and Bari Oilam. Shouldn't he run to that occasion? And that's why he needs an achona. Chayodam in Tzamaches, Chafei writes, don't just start davening. He writes, that when I made a little bit of an achona, pause for a second before Shemayin Esra. Think. And think of the words, Hashem Svosei Tiftach. Chavetz Chaim writes, before you say Rafa'enu, think about a choyla. And this is the best Hishtadlis. Persons krechtsing, the Vanos not going. That's why this Baruch Aleinu three times a day to remind yourself what you need. And then a person relates to the davening. You ever watch someone comes running into Mincha late? So he has it down to a science. He comes in, and for steps to start happening, looking for a siddha, closing his jacket, puts on the gartel. When he finishes Morgan Avram, then he realizes he started Shmanestra. Where was the Kavana? Was he Yoytz Shmanestra for heaven's But Dr. Ben Yoyin and Seif Hayyir, one of the Rishonim, Yovi Lebe Saknesa, Vyesh Bimakaymai, Vula Yiftach Piv. Don't open your mouth. Ad Sheyisha Maat. Vyashiv El Liba Lefnehu Yoyshev, Umi Shemei Yadvarov. Every time we start davening, we start with an achana. The Shlav's brother in Yesh Leuchlin writes, all you need to matzliach in davening is a, is a hergel koton. A hergel koton means to pause a second before you say that bracha. Imagine a person before he just says the word He thinks my simcha is atayra, my avas is atayra, my phrase is totally in this varevna. Should I just throw it out of my mouth? Should I, should I fall down in the ayovan and sukkah? Davening has to be a person's best friend. His morning, his afternoon, his night on a daily basis is totally in his davening. And every time we bow, it's the femiyata oimid. Every atah, every bracha. Now they say, eken davenin, right? So for Gabay it means, eken davenin, yom tev davenin, halal. What does it mean for us, eken davenin? I'll tell you what it means. He knows that the greatest hishtavus that he can make is his davenin. He knows no one's guaranteed. But if I do my davening to the best of my ability, I did the most important hishtavus for my tatzlach of myself, the shaduch of my children, my panos of my health. And even though there's a problem, he has to know to read the word hair of me many. Hanichali means I want you to wrangle with me. Because in the Baruch Shem's world, there's nothing above tefillah. The Bank of Galinsky once said, he admitted, he said, that he went through Gehenna in Siberia. He lost his family. He came Ein Alein, Ellen Ashtain to Eretz Yisrael. And although he's an Avardok, he said, I gave up. I couldn't go on. So I went to the Chazanish, and I told him, I, I have no care to go on, to be honest. So Chazanish, let me tell you a story. There was a merchant. In the olden days, he would go to Yerid, buy, the, buy inventory, and he would sell it as a profit. One Yerid, punk before the Yerid, he got very sick. He couldn't go. He told his wife, listen, I can't go. You're going to have to go. I know it's not your type. But there's no choice, go. I give you exactly the directions. Go to this vendor, this amount of money, this amount of merchandise. It's a done deal. Just go and you'll do it. Fine. She went. She goes to the vendor. Everything's working out clockwork. So he says, okay, pay me. And she had exact change. She starts checking her pocket and she can't find any money. She starts shrieking. She lost the money. She didn't find 
Punkti was a year. There was a guy she read, but there's Punkti a year there. And he came running. I hear this woman is crying. What's happening? I lost my money. How much money do you have? I said, I have a simon. Let me see what I could do. I walked around. I showed the surveys. I was ready to. I said, yeah, I found the wallet. How much money? Exactly the same amount. So he said, let me call the woman. You have to give it back to her. I'm not giving it back to her. Let me call the woman and talk to her. But she you have her money? And he said, I'm not giving you the money, tells the woman. So the woman said, what do you mean? Did you ever learn Masech the Bava Metziah? I learned Bava Metziah. This is a Raif Akum. And my Raif Akum, a person's Miyayish, and you, can't, you don't get back the money. So he, she says, why don't you have Rachmanus in me? This is my Panasa. He goes, you know, I, have a, I have a bigger Panasa problem. I have Rachmanus in my own family. I have to feed my family. My own Mahai Mihai. So the fellow says, let's go to the Ritzuchan inspector. Well, let's go so, so they went to Ritzuchan. Ritzuchan listened to the story. And he says, first give back the money, and I'll tell you why. She goes, why? She goes, you said that she was Miyayish. But it's not her money. It's her husband's money. You can't be Miyayish on what's not yours. And Chazanish turned to Bianca and says, Das is nish deine Welt. You can't be Miyayish on your world because it's not your world. It's the Rebbeinish Lelem's world. And I was thinking, there's so much Oymik in that. If you live in a dark, cruel world of prognosis and statistics and, and, and chances and, 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 and speculations, then we give up. But in the Barsham's world, there is no Yish. There's a Kaddish Baruch Hu Mis'avel Tzilas and Tzadikim. Hanichali means I want you to daven. There's a, there's a world that fills its way above and beyond even Mazel and even the worst Tzoros of Kriyas Yamsuf. The world of Ani Tzilas is a world that, that a person can never give up because he knows that even a Yishmael and a Reitzayach and even a Oivet Derech Tzilas is Ani Tzilas. And let me just leave you with a story I think is really encapsulates what I wanted to say today. Rabbi Yitzhak Zilberstein, not, not long ago, told the story. They have you over there. He gives a share for doctors. And after he finished the share, people ask questions. And there was a doctor waiting on the side uh, from a doctor. And he looks very excited. But he couldn't go to him before them. So he took care of all his questioners. And then he went to the doctor said, Doctor, how are you doing? I said, I, I, I must tell you a story. He says, we're married, my wife and I are married for 15 years, we've got no children, and Doc says there's no hope. So we decided to adopt. We took a child in, and he's already five years old, a very good child, a wonderful child. We sent him to Chayda, he's doing great. Then we had a, a siddha party, and he comes in with a siddha, but he's unusually attached to the siddha. He walk, carries it and uh, holding it, and he's caressing it, and I asked him, my kind, and that was nice, but like, why are you so attached to that siddha? He says, Tati, he says, you don't understand. It's not easy being an only child. When I finally got a siddha, I'm going to daven from this siddha that I should have a brother. And the father said he choked himself in tears. He doesn't know, he's, he's not a biological child. I can't have children. What should I do? Should I tell him not? But let me leave it. <laughs> and then the doctor said, today I made a bris of my own child. That's not the secret of a young child. That's the secret of Netzach Yisrael or Yishaker. Leading up to go through a Kriyas Yamsuf in so many different situations. But he has his Sid, he has his best friend. He has the Koyach of Tvila, that's unstoppable. When a Yid lives, I need Tvila. When a Yid lives, I need Beroiv, Chaz Dechavay Beisecha. We'll be Zoycha to see. HaKadosh Baruch Yimale, Kol Basha Seinu Latoiva, Amen Selah. Amen, Amen. Ah, come on, it's me, my nephew, I'm here for more, dick, more, dick, more, dick. Shame, Egan, she told like to thank our Rav, our Gorn, Yaakov, Zess, Mishlit, for the wonderful sheer. The more they get the chizik and fill it, they wish of an Allah, fillers on Skabal and Rachman Rotson. Also, like to thank our Bavom Sprite for me, Manado, today's Kiddush Hashem, which thousands are going to be listening to the sheer and get chizik and filler. Our boy said, the next sheer is right now. The next sheer. Shalos and Shuvah Dalit Chalkis Shachanor Da Harav Agon Agor Lutz Kvele Dain Shlita Eben Chaim Rekha Shem Rot Gush Baruch Zaka Sol Fikhi Hibber Mentem 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 Kaddish Kaddish Kaddish